Hey guys, what's happening? Chris here at Indy Farm Life. Uh, so just playing, kind of clean up around the farm today. It's uh, gotten pretty cold here in central Indiana uh, over the past couple weeks. So fall kind of didn't exist and now we're in full winter mode, which when you live in Indiana, I suppose that's the price you pay. But I love fall, so I wouldn't change it. Anyway, so just kind of cleaning things up a little bit, getting things put in the barn, things put away. And I thought, you know what? I've got something pretty awesome I want to show you guys. I would say it is maybe the best and or most affordable three-point implement you can buy for your tractor. Let me show you. So keep in mind, we have lots of three-point implements and I love them all. And I did say this was the most affordable. It also is most dependent on having a need for it, whether you're gonna determine this is the best or most affordable three-point implement. All right. We're gonna pan and you're gonna see it. It's not the grill. That's not it either. We'll have a video about that sometime too. Stump grinder? We already did that video. What's he talking about? Dun dun dun! So you might be saying to yourself, there is no way I would call that the best, most affordable, most important implement you can buy for your tractor. And you know what? I may agree with some of you about it, but if you've ever tried backing a trailer into a barn through a 10 foot or 12 foot door opening and tried to get it back where you want it so you maximize your space for the winter, you may agree with me. So I don't even know what brand this is. Maybe from Northern Tool. Uh, actually not positive. Adam bought it for me one year for Christmas and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. So it's got your Side links, top link, and your normal hitch receiver there. Uh, you can put your own ball size into. And then D-ring for your safety chains. I don't know why you would ever really need that when you're moving it with a tractor, because I would hope that you're not moving more than, you know, three or four mile an hour. But for all you guys that like to take your trailer on your tractor down the road, you can use a D-ring too. All right, so for all you naysayers out there, I'm just going to show you how fast it is. I won't hyperlapse it, I promise. We like to do that, don't we? More just save you the time, honestly. But I'm going to show you how quick I can hook my trailer up and have it in the barn. It's amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, now going for the new trailer moving record in e Farm Life. Sit back and enjoy.
sorry I'm gonna move you guys a little bit, but I just want you to see it all. Last time. Just check, see if it's worthy of a world record or not. Well, it looks pretty good, I'd say, for the first attempt. And you may be asking yourself, how do I know it was his first attempt? How many, I know how many times, or how do I not know how many times he backed in, pulled back out, and tried it again? Well, I can guarantee it's the first time because I've got too much other stuff to do. So, like I said, guys, this was the first time, and. I'd say it is pretty darn close over here. Maybe too close because I can, now I can't walk through here. First world problems, I know. And let's just see how close I got to the back. Also pretty close. I'd actually prefer that just because now I can get to the other side over there. Can't wait till we decide to move those gates later on and I just have to do it all again, but anyway. All right guys, so while you might think this is a ridiculous thing to be talking about and how important it is, as you can see, it only took me a few minutes to get this trailer both hooked up and backed into the barn the first time. You know, I've got a decent amount of experience backing up a trailer with a truck and you know, I'm not the best at it, I'll never claim to be, but I do have a lot of experience with it. And sure, I could back this trailer in here with my truck, no problem. It wouldn't be that quick. One, it takes forever to hook the trailer up. Two, you know, you're never just gonna get that close. You know, the turning radius of the front of these tractors is incredible. So you're never gonna have that with a truck. So the time it saves for the little amount of money this is, it's totally worth it. You know, they make them both this kind for a regular trailer. They make some with the gooseneck hookup as well. You know, for 50, 60 bucks to be able to buy this thing to move these trailers around, uh, to me is invaluable. You know, we've got two of these trailers and uh, you know, it just makes it worth it in my opinion. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope I showed you how uh, useful this is for us. Hopefully some of you guys, other guys who are maybe on the fence about buying this thing can see how much time it actually saves. And you know, if you're moving your trailers back and forth, in and out of the barns, uh, summer, winter, doesn't matter. Uh, it's pretty useful and saves you quite a bit of time. So hope you guys enjoyed. Keep stopping back for more videos. Make sure to like the video. And make sure to subscribe for more because we've got lots of other cool stuff out there. Take care guys.